All right, so we've worked our two inches of ribbing and then our saconette. So we've got six inches of knitting already done. So we're about to work on the decreasing. Decreasing is when you're taking away stitches periodically to shape a piece. So this is gonna give us that nice round crown at the top of our hat and not a pointy hat and it doesn't just end. It will just nicely slope down. So our first row of decreases will be on our right side, which is our knit side. So we're gonna start and I'll walk through the whole row with you, the first row. So our instructions say slip one stitch. So it's SL and that means you're just slipping it like everything else. Um, and then you're working eight stitches, so it's K8 and then it says K2 together. That's our decrease. That means that you are knitting two stitches at once, taking away a stitch. And then you'll see an asterisk in that instruction. That means that's the beginning of your repeat. A repeat is a section of instructions that you will, you will do over and over again. You'll ignore what came before and you'll just work what happens from that asterisk to the word repeat. So our repeat says K9, which is knit nine stitches, and then K2 together, it's your decrease, and then you're knitting nine again, and you're gonna repeat that over and over again until the end, you'll end with a knit nine. So our first, step, our first step for this row is to slip one. So we're gonna do that, and you're all experts at that by now. So slip one, and you're going to K8. So you're gonna knit eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we're at our decrease. So it's the K2 together, K2 tog. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your right hand needle and you're going to skip the first stitch on your left hand needle and you're going to jump to the second stitch in. You're going to insert your needle as if you're going to knit that stitch, but you're going to put it through both of the, the last two stitches on that left hand needle at once. And you're going to pull it through both of those stitches at once. And you're going to slip them both off of the left hand needle and you're going to wind up with one stitch on your right hand needle. So that means you've decreased, you combine both the stitches into one. Then you're going to see your asterisk and from here on out, this is your repeat. You're going to knit nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and here's your two, K2 together. So again, we're going to insert our needle. We're gonna skip the first stitch, go the second one in. We're going to insert it, go through both stitches at once, wrap your yarn around, pull it through both stitches again, and then slip both of those off of your left hand needle. Now you just have one loop on your right hand needle. Then you're going to knit nine, K2 together, knit nine, K2 together, all the way to the end with your last K9. And then you're going to turn your work That'll be the end of the row. Turn your work, slip that stitch purl-wise like you've been doing on all your wrong side rows, your purl side rows. Purl across, all the way across. You're not decreasing that second row. You're just working even. Then the next side will be another decrease row. You will slip the first one and you'll notice that this row will, will say K7. So you're knitting seven and then you're knitting two together again like we just did. And then your asterisk will appear and you will see a knit eight. So you're knitting eight stitches, knitting those together, knitting two together, knitting eight, knitting two, knitting eight, knitting two. And then that will be your decrease. You'll notice going forward in the pattern that each section will have one fewer stitch between each of those K2 togethers. Those are the stitches you're taking away. You're taking them out of the repeat and you don't need to do them. You're decreasing your stitches. So you will see the next round after that will be K6 together, and then K5, and then K4, all the way down until row 18 or ni row 19 will be the one that we will come to next. And that's a little different, so I'll show you how to do that in the next, next set.